Okay, so to start off in recording in your 59.9 for frames per second, what you want to do is go to display settings, video output settings, make sure it stays component terminal. Now, mine's usually set to 1080 for doing commentaries. What you want to do is change that to back to 720p. Hit enter, then finish. And then after that's done, what you want to do next is open up your Elgato software, and we will continue from there. Hey guys, what's up? So we're back, and uh, here goes the final step on how to record uh, 59.94 frames per second with your Elgato Game Capture HD. So you, what you would need to do is, in the settings button right here, what you want to do is open up your profile, and mine was set to 1080 because I used to do, or I'm doing game commentaries or stuff like that. So I would change my profile to 1080 if I'm doing game commentaries or like um, pretty much anything around that. So if I was like recording trick shots and if I want to go back in that, then make sure it has like smooth twixter settings and all that. What you want to do is go to profile and select HD 720. This will automatically set your clips and 59.9 for frames per second. As you can see right here at the top, it says input and then 59 per frames and then output 59.9 frames. And now what you want to do is just hit cancel. I'm just going to go ahead and close out of this. And to prove to you that this does work, um, here goes a uh, clip that I just recorded. And what you want to do is just click and drag it in the Sony Vegas Adobe After Effects, what, or whatever editing program that you're using. And what you want to do is just go to Project Media or on Adobe After Effects. It should say it in one of these corners, or I'm pretty sure it says it somewhere around the area. But what you want to do is um, <clears throat> down here, say video. Uh, 1280 by 720 to give you your screen resolution and everything and right here will tell you how many frames you're recording in so 59.94 frames right here so there you go uh your clip is already in 59.94 frames and twixter should work great with it because twixter does best at 60 frames per second so i'll show you uh what twixter does look like indeed after this video um hope you guys enjoy this tutorial hope it worked for you be sure to comment rate like the video please share it helps out a lot and i'll see you guys later peace